Ag PhD full episodes and more are now available on Acres TV, the newest ag platform connecting you to fields of information. Look for us on watchacrestv.com. During our Farm Basics time today, we're going to talk a little about the weed seed bank. And what we mean by that is how many weeds are in the ground, how long can they live, how does that population get built up, and all the problems that this can create for all of us as farmers. Many times when we have a tough to control weed, we'll say at the bare minimum, get out there and mow it off before it goes to seed. Because with almost any weed out there, their one, well, with any weed out there, their one job in life is to produce seed. Well, if they get to produce seed, that seed's gonna lay there in the soil and many of those seeds will germinate years later. So if they don't all germinate the first year, they might germinate the second or the third or the fifth or the 10th year in some cases. You don't want that because you wanna just fight the weed one time and be over with it. So that's what we're talking about here with this weed seed bank. Yeah, so Darren just said they could survive four years. So just so you understand, there are some plants out there that their seed may only germinate well for three to seven years. That's kind of the standard thing, but it's certainly possible that 50 years later, a seed all of a sudden could germinate. Because I can just tell you, like on our farm, we think we've done a great job with weed control for a long, long time, and yet weeds still keep showing up. How does that happen? Well, it's that weed seed bank that we're talking about here. And one of the biggest things that we're always saying to farmers is, look, I know it may not be economical to kill the last few weeds in your field for this year's crop, but if you let just a few weeds go to seed, then you've created so much seed for that seed bank moving forward, like a water hemp or a palmer pigweed plant. They can put on a million seeds per plant. Just think about that. If you had five plants in the whole field, you say, no, no big deal. Well, that might be five million seeds and five million future weeds. So you might be thinking, okay, how, how do I deal with that? What if I did tillage and just buried those seeds? Well, in some cases, that might be the worst thing that you could do because now you've got them in the soil and now they're more likely to germinate. But let's just say you're doing really deep tillage and you're flipping over six inches of soil or 12 inches of soil on top of these seeds. Could that work short term? Sure, you could get some benefit from doing some tillage. But I'm gonna argue the other way. I kind of like no-till, now all the seeds Seeds are laying on top of the soil and they're exposed to all the weather. So the wet cycles where, hey, you get a rain and it's wet for a week and now it's going to dry out and you have sunshine. Winter, uh, animals and birds feeding on these seeds, all those things. I kind of like no-till, Brian. At least let's get it over with. If there's going to be five million weeds, <laughs> bring it on. Let's have it and we'll knock them out next year. Yeah, and you can certainly do that, but here's the fact of the matter. There are seeds that get brought in by animals. There are seeds that are down in that soil way below that, hey, all of a sudden this year, for whatever reason, they're going to now germinate. So I don't think we're ever going to eliminate weeds, but we definitely want to at least be able to reduce that weed seed bank because that just means, hey, it should be a lot easier moving forward to keep our weeds under control. Well, stopping weeds from going to seed and dealing with that weed seed bank are very important. We'll show you how to stop this particular weed later in the show.